Gemini, the top U.S. exchange since 2014, confirmed the listing of XRP. In the last few days, Gemini has repeatedly indicated curiosity in listing XRP following the win of XRP against SEC. Recall that XRP became the only first altcoin with regularity clarity in the U.S. Soon after XRP status as not security, all top exchanges, including Coinbase, relist XRP. XRP listing speculations on Gemini sprang up shortly after Gemini delivered an XRP-focused teaser on X, X Twitter, expressing excitement about XRP, the exchange disclosed on Tuesday, as was previously reported. The post garnered significant attention, triggering anticipation. After a day of teasing the XRP community, Gemini finally listed XRP on the exchange for the first time. It bears mentioning that Gemini never listed XRP despite the XRP prominence over the years. The exchange only indicated an interest in listing XRP following the victory secured in the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. Interestingly, soon after the listing of XRP, there's been massive price fluctuations spotted in the cryptocurrency's price trading on Gemini. Several crypto community members posted screenshots of what appears to be a price glitch on the crypto exchange Gemini. Some users reported the XRP price to be as high as $50, while on other platforms, the XRP price was actually trading around 63 cents levels. On the other hand, in an exciting turn of events, the stablecoin project of the Republic of Palau now has a peer-to-peer -peer feature set to transform the payment initiative further. J. Hunter Anson, Palau Digital Residency Office Director, disclosed the recent development in a recent post. Anson took to X to excitedly share the new use case for the Palau stablecoin. In the tweet, Anson revealed that citizens of Palau now have the added advantage of transferring funds from wallet to wallet. According to the official, this innovation presents a remarkable solution for cultural collections. Furthermore, Anson noted that the feature will streamline processes and eliminate the hassles of time wasting and transaction fees. It also includes security convenience to mitigate the risks associated with physical cash transactions. Moreover, the tweet emphasized the numerous benefits of the development, including cost-effectiveness, carbon neutrality, and environmental responsibility. According to the official, the Palau Stablecoin Initiative aligns with Blue Economy principles, which adapts to local culture. Recognizing the significance of this advancement, Ripple CBDC advisor Anthony Welfare lauded the wallet-to-wallet -wallet transfer use case. Welfare expressed that person-to-person -person payments without incurring costs are a fantastic feature for Palau stablecoin and other central bank digital currencies. Additionally, he highlighted the added layer of security coupled with eliminating geographic limitations for transactions. Put together, these further underscore the transformative impact of the innovation. Welfare's positive remarks underscore digital currencies growing importance and potential to revolutionize financial transactions. He expressed gratitude to J. Hunter Anson for spearheading the pioneering initiative. Notably, the Palau Finance Ministry recently achieved a significant milestone, gaining the capability to securely mint, distribute, and process inbound redemptions. It is worth mentioning that the Palau stablecoin project runs on Ripple's cross-border payment solution. As was reported, live tracking of the PSC development has become possible on the XRP ledger. Well, that's not all. In an official tweet, U.S.-based blockchain firm Ripple announced its keen interest in collaborating with Hong Kong's thriving ecosystem of developers and blockchain investments. The company expressed eagerness to engage with enterprises and financial establishments to facilitate the tokenization of value across Hong Kong and the wider Asian region. In a video shared alongside the tweet, Kirit Badia, Ripple's head of international business development, elaborated on the significance of this endeavor. Badia highlighted his connection to Hong Kong, citing pivotal moments in his career. He commended the growing adoption of cryptocurrencies in the region and underscored Hong Kong's historical prominence as a bustling global financial hub. Badia noted that Hong Kong boasts one of the highest concentrations of developers and blockchain-related investments per capita. He revealed that Ripple is actively collaborating with local businesses and financial institutions. The aim is to usher in a new era of value movement, management, and tokenization. Badia highlighted Ripple's partnership with the Hong Kong Monetary Authority to pilot a central bank digital currency initiative. The initiative aims to tokenize real-world assets using Ripple's CBDC platform powered by the XRP Ledger technology. It is worth mentioning that Fubon Bank, the Hong Kong-based subsidiary of Taiwan's Fubon Financial Holding Company, has affirmed its intentions to introduce a test program for real estate tokenization this year. 
As was previously reported, the bank will carry out the initiative utilizing Ripple's CBDC solution. Prominent XRP influencer Crypto Ari shared her insights on the global crypto landscape of Ripple's endeavor. She ranked Dubai, Hong Kong, the UK, Singapore, Japan, and the US as the countries most fervently vying to establish themselves as crypto hubs. Ari argued regulatory frameworks would ultimately determine the victor, with the prevailing regulations influencing talent concentration in these regions. Her tweet included a pointed message to key US politicians. Brett Hill, an XRPL NFT admin, asserted that XRP was poised to be the cornerstone of a new financial system. Hill believes attempts to impede this progress would prove ineffective in the face of XRP's growing influence. Similarly, an XRP enthusiast highlighted Ripple's extensive global partnerships and dismissed popular XRP price predictions. He expressed confidence in XRP's worldwide utility, potentially pushing its value beyond bounds. Now to the big question of the day. Will exchanges delist XRP if SEC wins the appeal? Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. XRP will not be delisted on exchanges, irrespective of whether the SEC wins its appeal against Ripple. Recall that the Securities and Exchange Commission requested to file an interlocutory appeal in the Ripple lawsuit. As reported, the SEC's interlocutory appeal will cover Judge Torres' decision on Ripple's programmatic sales and other distributions. Notably, several XRP enthusiasts are concerned about the implications of a higher court declaring Ripple's programmatic XRP sales securities. In a tweet today, prominent XRP YouTuber Moon Limbo speculated that XRP secondary market trading would be affected if all programmatic sales were found to be securities. Isn't that the functional equivalent of XRP being a security in such a hypothetical, he added. In addition, Dizzer Capital founder Yasin Mabarak provided clarity to the question. He quizzed the possibility of crypto exchanges delisting XRP if programmatic sales are found to be securities. In response, Attorney Hogan believes crypto exchanges will not delist XRP even if the court rules that programmatic sales constitute investment contracts. According to Hogan, Ripple and its founders are the only ones who can sell XRP as an investment contract. He explained that exchanges will not delist XRP if they can source the coin from secondary markets. Recall that multiple crypto exchanges, including Kraken and Coinbase, delisted XRP after the SEC charged Ripple with violating federal securities laws. These exchanges made a U-turn and relist XRP after the court declared the coin a non-security. With the SEC requesting to appeal the programmatic sales ruling, many speculate that exchanges could delist XRP again. In a separate tweet, Attorney Hogan emphasized that XRP is not a security. He stressed that Ripple may not be allowed to sell XRP via exchanges if the SEC wins the appeal. He reiterated that exchanges will keep listing XRP if they confirm that Ripple is not making sales on their platforms. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible, let's get this news everywhere guys, if you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content, see you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.